Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 1171 North Indian River Drive in Cocoa, Florida. As you can see as I turn to my left, the home that we are visiting today sits directly on the Indian River. And in fact, you can see in the center of the screen there, there's a great boat dock that we'll visit at the end of the tour. Uh, before we head out to the water though, I'd love to show you this home. As I pan, you'll see that we have these great covered porches that surround most of the home, both on the first and second floor. We have nice covered parking here and a large garage, a detached garage in the back. We have this great paver driveway. So as you can see, we're walking through a gate to the backyard where we have a three-car detached garage that leads up to the back of the home. See, great landscaping. And uh, before I say a lot more, let's get inside. It's a nice breezy afternoon and I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to hear me. Before we get inside though, I'd love to show you these porches one more time. So as you can see, we have the large porch. We also have French doors leading from the formal living, the formal dining room, and the front door here on the side. Uh, this home was built by the current owners, and as we get inside you'll see that it's really uh, set up for entertaining, and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. Uh, as we walk through the front door, you can see we have a very attractive entry here with the staircase in front of us. Off to my right, we have a large formal dining room. Now the current owners do quite a bit of entertaining, so having these large formal living and dining rooms is very important for their lifestyle. They also have a great kitchen, and uh, as you'll see as we walk through the home, it has a nice circular flow to it, so it's easy to move about if you have um, a group of people in your home. We're now looking at the formal dining room. And before we walk through there, I'd just like to pan to the right to show you this hallway that leads to the kitchen, which we'll visit in just a moment. Now upstairs, where we'll be heading after we look at the first floor, we have a very large master suite and then two bedrooms off to the right-hand side. One of the many great things about this home is that you have these amazing views of the water from many of the windows. Uh, if you have been in the market and have looked at homes in this area that are on the river, you'll know that many of them are set back and have a, a limited view of the water. Here, you can see whether you're looking left, straight ahead, or right, you have sweeping views of the water, so it's, um, it's, it's a wonderful location. Now turning back to my right, we can see the formal living room. Nice high ceilings, looking toward the formal dining room. As we walk through the formal living room, we then get to the large family room. Here we have a wood burning fireplace. We have a wet bar on the opposite end of the room. The high ceilings with crown molding. And of course, as I turn to my left, you'll see more of those wonderful views of the water. Just show you the view out this window as well. <laughs> now, 
Now, under air, this house is about 4,400 square feet. Uh, under roof, with the detached garage, the porches and uh, the porch that will go on in just a moment, uh, the enclosed porch, that is, we have just over 7,400 square feet. So, a very large home. Now, as you can see, we've just walked into the kitchen. We have a nice butcher block island in the center, and then granite countertops, real wood cabinets. Of course, we have a view of the water there. And as I pan around to my right, we'll see a window in front that leads to the covered porch, which we'll look at in just a moment. We have an eat-in area in front of us. We have a staircase that leads up to the master suite, and I'll show you the other end of that in just a few minutes once we get upstairs. And we have the other end of the hallway that we saw at the uh, beginning of the video when we walked in the home. We have a half bath downstairs. With a fan, which is why I have the light off. And then a closet to the right. So you can see we are now walking toward the front door that we came through just a few minutes ago. And I will now take you into the formal dining room. So here we have a table that seats 10 comfortably. If you look at the furniture, you'll see there's still plenty of room in this dining room. Again, the family that owns this house uh, does quite a bit of entertaining and uh, it's very important for them to have this space. So if you are a person or a family that also likes to entertain, I think you'll find this house ideal. Uh, looking into the kitchen here, if I continue turning to my left, you'll see that we have uh, what I'm going to call the pantry. And as I continue turning left, you'll see that we have a laundry room with a door leading out back. So I'll now show you the uh, covered porch and then we'll head upstairs. After we do that, then we'll head outside. So we're looking at the covered porch now. Let's see, we have speakers and fans. A great space. We have a door leading out back. Uh, even though we're not going out there yet, I'll just give you a sneak preview of the detached garage, even though we saw it at the very beginning of the video. Why don't we head this way toward the stairs? Just to give you another look at the family room and the formal living room. So we're now back in the entry. Hopefully by now you're getting a good feel for the layout of the home. Again, it's, it's very circular in feel. If you have a group of people in here, it's very easy to get around to the front or the back or to circulate if you're trying to mingle. Uh, heading upstairs, I'll show you in a minute. Off to the left, we have the large master suite. First, however, we're going to take a look at the two non-master bedrooms, which are here on the right-hand side. Now, even though these are non-master bedrooms, they are still quite large. Here you can see we have two beds. We have a vaulted ceiling. 
and a door that leads to the Jack and Jill bath. Now we have a closet in the center. As I turn to my left, you'll see there's another storage closet there in front of us. And of course, we have a beautiful view of the river here. <clears throat> so moving across here, we are now looking in the second of the two non-master bedrooms. We have that vaulted ceiling that we had in the first one. A large bed, lots of furniture, and yet still a lot of room to move around. <clears throat> uh, one of the few windows that does not have a great view of the water, but a great view nonetheless of the backyard. We have a closet on either side, as you can see. And then we have the Jack and Jill bath with the double sink. Another closet. And then a bathroom with a tub shower. So as you can see as we're going through the home, there is quite a bit of storage in this house. Now if you have lots of stuff, it will certainly have a place to stay if this becomes your new home. Uh, walking through to the master bedroom, I'd just like to show you the skylights that are up above. And while we're here, I can now show you something I'm looking forward to giving you a look at. Uh, these are custom-made stained glass windows that were made just for the home. It represents the Indian River on the left with a manatee, and then the ocean, which is very close to here, on the right with the sea turtles. Those are staying with the home. And then we'll just take a look down at the entry again with the real wood floors. Let me just back up here. So, as I mentioned, we have a very large master suite. The family that lives here, uh, the kids have grown up and they've moved on. This house was designed around the idea of entertaining and enjoying their space. So they have, uh, they've definitely done that. The master suite's amazing. It has two separate bathrooms. This is not the master bedroom. This is actually the sitting room. So you can see we have built-in shelves, we have room for TV, couch, recliner, more storage. Before I show you the master, I have to show you the view, of course. Uh, not only do we have the porches downstairs, but we have them upstairs as well. You'll see that we have the clear hurricane shutters on the ground there. And there you are, if you'd like to wake up in the morning and see the river, you have it right here in front of you. Another thing I'd like to add while we're out here, uh, you can see we have a person walking in front. This road, Indian River Drive, is a great location if you do enjoy walking or if you're into bicycling. Uh, especially on weekends, you'll see dozens of people out here. It's a very popular location. And speaking of location, we're also just a couple miles north of Cocoa Village, which has a historic playhouse, uh, upscale dining and shopping. Uh, it has a very quaint feel, and uh, it's one of the uh, one of my favorite places, quite frankly, in Brevard County. If you have not visited it, or if you're not familiar with it, I'd encourage you to Google historic Cocoa Village, and know that that's just down the road from here. In fact, they just renovated the Playhouse. Uh, I think it was built in the 1920s. They have some fantastic shows there. Uh, my wife and I enjoy going there. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about the Playhouse. Uh, we are now looking at the huge master bedroom. 
So we have a king size bed in front of us, but as you can see, there is lots of room in this bedroom. Just move over to the opposite end so I can give you another look at it. Now, as I turn left, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I will first show you the stairs that lead down to the kitchen. If you need a midnight snack, you don't need to go out to the front of the house and around. You have this nice circular stairway that will take you straight down to the kitchen. Uh, but here we have this wonderful master bathroom. And this isn't even all of it. We have, as you can see here, a countertop with a sink and a refrigerator. We have this large jetted tub. We have a second countertop across the way. Off to my right, we have one of two commodes. So we have his and her commodes. Even better, we have his and hers walk-in closets. So this, as you can tell from the closing, is at least currently hers. built-in shelves, plenty of storage. In fact, let me turn around here, there's even a built-in ironing board. Across the way, we have his walk-in closet. Again, with the built-in shelves. Lots of room, a window, lots of natural light. And as we continue through the master suite, you'll see that we come to his bathroom. So we, ha we truly have his and hers bathrooms, closets, uh, lots of space up here. So while it is a three bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath home, uh, you can see that it's not your traditional three bedroom by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, again, this house was custom built by the current owners. Uh, they really wanted to enjoy their space. Uh, their kids have moved on. And uh, they of course wanted the bedrooms so that they can visit, grandkids can visit, but they really wanted to use the space for their living. And uh, they've done that wonderfully here. So if you would like a large master suite and you enjoy entertaining, this house would certainly be ideal for you. If you don't, it's still a fantastic home and I think you'd like it anyway. Uh, we have a door here out to yet another porch. This one looking to the backyard. Looking at my timer, I can see we're about 19 minutes in, and uh, if you've been waiting for me to get downstairs and out to the dock, I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. I'm just going to slowly walk through the expansive master suite. I just walked past one of the walk-in closets. On my left here, we have the second of the two, uh, the larger of the two, even though they're both quite large. So we have the large master bedroom here. Which then takes us to the sitting area. You know, quite frankly, the master suite in this house is larger than some homes I've been in. So lots of space. Amazing views. What I'm going to do now is head back to that circular staircase to show you really what a neat addition it is to this house. Um, 
with this being such a large space, if you need to get to the kitchen quickly, or if you want to get there quietly without disturbing your guests in the other bedrooms, this is a nice circular staircase that will take you right down to the heart of the home. So there you have it. A few short steps and you're in the kitchen again. So pretty neat. Just show you that leading up to the master suite. And without further ado, I'm going to take you out back and then we will walk uh, toward the river. So we have the covered porch off to the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Off to my right we have more of the uh, covered, well, I should have said the enclosed porch. This is now the covered porch. We have nice brick and paver stones here leading us to the detached garage. As you can see it is a three car uh, with a two door and then the single door. So this garage has pretty much anything you'd need, uh, plenty of room for your stuff. We have a workbench here. We actually have a full bath, that's a shower on the left, although it's not currently being used as a shower. We have a uh, commode there. And then you would have your sink to the right, so that would make it the full bath. We have storage up above and uh, plenty of room for two cars as you can see even though one of them is gone and uh, exercise equipment, any kind of yard equipment you might have, you name it, it will fit in there, great garage. Let me just step back a bit to show you the back of the home. Again lushly landscaped. large yard. Uh, it's 0.63 acres and you can see it extends back this way. So lots of space here. Giving you another look at the home from the exterior. It's just a beautiful afternoon here in Cocoa, Florida. So if you can imagine yourself if you happen to be the next owner of this home, you can wake up in the morning or just head out in the afternoon on a beautiful day like today, walk down your driveway, look back at your home, and walk out to your dock. Of course we want to look both ways before we cross the street here. It's a pretty quiet street, but of course you always want to look for the car. Now I know from experience that these videos can get to a little hard to hear if I'm out on docks. Uh, the wind, it's actually a pleasant breeze. Uh, it sounds sometimes like a strong wind in the microphone. Uh, I won't do a lot of talking once we get out there, but really, what more do I need to say than, wow. <laughs>
So let's head out there and take a look. So there you have it, beautiful Indian River looking toward Merritt Island. As I said, Coco Village, just a couple miles south of here, you can see the buildings on the horizon. Great bench to sit down and relax on. and then the house in front of us. We have visited 1171 North Indian River Drive in Cocoa, Florida. My name is Andy Barclay and my wife and I are both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. If you would like more information about this house, please give me a call at 321-514-9862 or you can visit my website at brevardhomesandcondos.com. Thanks for watching.